YouTube, what's going on? What's the deal? It's your boy Moves back with another video. And in today's video, it's already been six months, guys. I'm going to give you guys my six months owner's review on my BMW M4 Competition G82, which is tuned and modified. This car pretty much has everything you could do uh, on it before you got to go ahead and upgrade turbos. So if you're curious what it's like to own a BMW M4 and you're wondering, uh, if you should go ahead and modify your car, I hope this video could provide you guys with some sort of insight and uh, help y'all make y'all decision. But man, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into it and give you guys the information you want to know. All right, as you guys can see, this is my beautiful BMW M4 Competition G82. It's actually a rear wheel drive one. It's not the all wheel drive one. Um, so that's definitely a little bit different. Um, but any part you see on this car, any exterior modification you see on this vehicle comes from MotivoMotoring.com, which is actually my business that specializes in selling aftermarket carbon, carbon, carbon fiber and exterior parts for BMWs. We also sell steering wheels and all that good stuff. So if you guys need anything, please feel free to check me out at Motivo Motoring. I have literally pretty much every single BMW model that you guys, um, might be curious or want you know parts for it so definitely check us out and uh, i'm gonna get you guys together we're gonna have the discount code in the comment section below for the you know for the video so save you guys some good money all my stuff is real high quality as y'all can see fit me on all the products is a1 right the tail lights the spoiler diffuser everything right but enough talking about the um, business let me go ahead and show you guys that interior as well absolutely beautiful silverstone interior as you guys can see which is basically bmw's name for white um, and this is by far my favorite interior option for these cars so what's it like owning this car you might be wondering this car actually uh for me i came from an older bmw m4 which was the uh, f82 m4 right so 2016 m4 the one with the smaller front grille and everything and um absolutely love that car I remember looking at this Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. That's what I was looking to get before this car right here, this M4. And I was like, damn, this is a dope car. And I realized like, okay, I can kind of get into it and afford it. So I was really considering getting that car. And that specific one that I wanted had like HREs. It was like set up perfectly for me, right? But it actually ended up selling. So I ended up having to make a decision. Either I was going to go find another um, AMG GTS and I was looking around and stuff and I didn't really like the ones I was seeing up for sale. They kind of looked a little basic to me. Or go ahead and hop in a G82 M4, right? So for a, for a good amount of time, I was really conflicted on that decision. And I couldn't really figure out which one I wanted to go with. Until I actually drove this one right here. This BMW M4 competition used to belong to my friend. His name is Will. Um, his YouTube channel is Will Motivation. So feel free to check him out. Drove the car. I was absolutely blown away by it. The car was already um, hey tuned and everything. I taking pictures of that car too. <laughs> Thank you, man. Sharp, I appreciate it. Take care. Good, good choice. Hey, you have a good one. Yeah. And uh, thank you. You have a good day. I appreciate it. Cool guy. Um, back to what I was saying. It used to be my guy Will's car. His name is Will Motivation. Feel free to check him out um, on YouTube. I drove it. It was already tuned and pretty much a lot of stuff was already done on it, right? And it absolutely blew me away how quick the car was. Like I already knew how this car was and how it performed and everything. But when I actually got to drive the car and experience it in the driver's seat, it was like a completely different uh, experience, right? So I ended up deciding, you know what? This car right here was a good look for me. Ended up getting the car. Uh, purchased it actually six months ago, which is crazy to say. Uh, usually I'm the type of person to be switching through vehicles a lot and uh you know i've been tempted sometimes to sell this car but i think i'm gonna keep it for a good amount of time the first one i had i only had for six months uh surprisingly uh or thankfully i had no real issues with it and with this vehicle right here the, throughout the whole process of the ownership experience i would say it's actually been pretty headache free they only had one issue with this car uh, with this car being modified and tuned i guess i just got unlucky because this is something that isn't really common or happens to people who have like my same exact setup modification wise for these cars and everything my transmission actually went out right my transmission went out about i want to say two to three weeks into ownership it wasn't the last owner's fault or anything um I, I don't really think i did anything to mess the car up 
but for whatever reason the transmission went out. I was thinking maybe I just got unlucky in this flawed from the factory or it might be some sort of issue with like my transmission software or something along those lines, but the actual transmission went out. Repair cost for that was actually really cheap. I wanna say it was about four or five thousand dollars for everything. But um, yeah, that came out of my pocket actually because my car with it being modified is not under warranty, right? If this car was uh, on the stock ECU and wasn't modified, that'll obviously be the uh, BMW dealer's responsibility. But it's actually what well, it was my responsibility. And the transmissions on these cars is really cheap. So that just goes to show you like people don't really have issues with these cars and their transmissions going on because usually uh, with like transmissions and all that kind of stuff if a car is known to have transmission problems for example the part's going to be more expensive because it has a higher demand but this car actually uh transmission i want to say was about two thousand five hundred dollars something like that um which is actually pretty cheap <laughs> sometimes i kind of feel like i should have built the transmission out but i really don't want no more power out of this car the power level at it's at right now in my opinion is plenty um but it would have just been nice to build a transmission, which would have probably cost me five Gs, right? Now, boom, transmission went out on this car. And then other than that, have I had any other issues? Let's keep, uh, keep it nice and short for you guys. Not really, not at all, actually. The only issue I really had was that transmission. And then other than that, I just kind of stay on top of servicing this car and maintaining it, right? I feel like with any tuned vehicle you purchase, whether it be a BMW, a Ford, or whatever, you gotta stay on top of maintenance, right? So BMW says for these cars that you need to get an oil change every 10,000 miles. In my opinion, that's ridiculous. Like, I think any car in general, you shouldn't really be letting just sit for 10,000 miles on the same oil. So I usually change the oil on this car between every three to 5,000 miles. And um, I change spark plugs, I wanna say about every 10 to 8,000 miles or so which is it overkill might be but i'd rather be safe than sorry have my car in tip-top condition and reliable with no issues and just you know um be out here pretty much just dogging it and not taking care of it you know because this car is not cheap if you're going to spend the money for one of these cars and you're going to be spending 70 80 90 thousand plus bare minimum you could do is a $200 or $150 oil change and spark plugs and that kind of thing so yeah that's all um, I really did throughout the whole ownership process of this vehicle is maintaining it like changing oil and that kind of thing and that transmission thing but that transmission situation I think is like uh, just a I just got unlucky it's like really an anomaly it doesn't really happen um, what are some things you probably guys you guys will probably be interested to know about this car this car absolutely drinks gas like I know it's a sports car you don't buy this car for gas purposes I didn't buy it because I was worried about miles per gallon but these cars are actually terrible on gas whether you run this car on E85 or 93 you're gonna be at the pump a lot I want to say about every three days four days I'm filling up this car again because um, I run out of gas and I'll fill it up to the like max right which is about 13 gallons or so and it burns through it like this especially when it's sitting idle like that that gas is getting drunken up right um my old m4 when i compare this car like mpg wise to the old one the old one is actually a lot better than this car was in like terms of gas mileage and everything but you know it is what it is in the end of the day you don't buy this car because you want the best gas mileage um, that is one thing I'd say. Another thing I'd say is um, it's very daily drivable, honestly. Like, if you buy a car like this, some people might be uh, a bit intimidated with the thought of, like, purchasing a sports car. But honestly, um, I basically daily drive this car. I don't have no issues with that. I got another car at home that is, like, the daily that I really should be taking around and driving. But this car is so damn fun, I never even really want to drive my other car. It's actually an amazing car very good well suited all around car um, so yeah keep that in mind and if you guys are actually really looking into getting one of these vehicles um, something that I definitely recommend you guys to do I think he likes my car um, is get X drive right I have a real drive one it doesn't hook at all uh, even third gear fourth gear when I'm on E85 it'll spin fourth gear actually it doesn't really spin that bad but third gear is gonna spin 
Um, but yeah, this car actually gets a lot of love for it being just, you know, black. Let me go ahead and put the camera in. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing my face. Y'all want to see this car more, so let's go ahead and get that done. But for it being a black car, it honestly gets a lot of love. Now, my old car was like a light blue color, so a lot more people are like noticing it and stuff. That's what you guys are like into. But you know, this car with it being black, people still like it a lot. And a lot of people know what these cars are, which kind of surprises me, you know? Um, generally speaking, like I wouldn't be expecting people to know what an M4 is or that kind of thing, but it's really been like a pretty popular car amongst the community. And uh, these cars get a lot of love. I mean, it's kind of undeniable what these cars do and the performance you get for the money. Um, and I've been saying this over and over, when it comes to just straight performance, you can't beat an M4, uh, especially for the price range you purchase these cars at. Once you tune them, they are absolute missiles. Even stock form, it's a hell of a car and it's really quick. But man, this car continues to impress me every time I drive it or race someone, you know, or put it up to the test. Like this car is ridiculously quick. The only other car I'd say that really competes with this car in the price range uh, would be a GT500. Um, I'm saying tuned, obviously, like stage two tuned and whatnot. It's a GT500, and um, you also say a red eye. Say a red eye uh, is also a solid car, but with the red eye, you don't really get the handling and that kind of thing. This car, you get the straight line speed, you get the cornering abilities, you get the interior, you get the look, you get everything. So whether you get an M3 or M4, I feel like the tuning capabilities for these cars is endless and that's definitely something you guys should really consider doing um whether you go ahead and unlock the ecu or do a jb4 either way it's gonna be a really good um move now people generally speaking just stick to the jb4 because they want the warranty but for me i felt like i don't really mind the warranty as much i know these cars are actually very reliable this platform right here the s58 engine uh, slash motor and the B58 motor have just proven themselves really to be solid, very reliable platform. So I wasn't really too concerned about the car braking and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just said, you know what, I don't need the warranty and it's proven to be like a good decision other than that transmission situation. But like I said, that's really an anomaly. Another thing to know, if you guys want these cars, there's two options with the headlights. There's the non-lasers and lasers generally speaking like i think people should really always stick to the lasers if you see a car that's a really good deal and you don't mind it as much or it doesn't bother you you can go ahead and get the non-laser headlights but the lasers have a more intricate and uh interesting looking design on them and i think it makes a big difference on the front end so even for resale purposes i think having a car with laser headlights would be a, a better move right so yeah definitely keep that in mind and if you want to purchase this car or like m3 and you're wondering what is uh more demand i'd say the market generally has a there's a stronger demand slash market for like m3s but at the end of the day stick to what you like because whether you get an m3 or m4 um you know someone will always want it and want to buy it and have their fun with it and you know if you're not even really concerned about that then definitely get what you like i'd say the m3 is a bit more usable daily drivable i feel like the m4 with it being a coupe feels more sporty and um enjoyable slash like a real experience to drive so you know that's for me i've always liked coupes more I'm a younger guy 22 years old so you know the coupe for me just kind of made sense but if this is something that you guys want to like have and also you might have a family or something and want to drive it around and have fun in it sedan will definitely be a good move for you guys but pretty much the exact same thing whether you get the coupe or the sedan and um yeah i'd say that's that's the main things to really know about these cars they have a great technology inside um another thing you guys also might want to know i'll make a whole separate video on this like things to know about these cars before purchasing one but with the facelifted ones which are the 2023s they come with the iDrive 8 which is the big tv looking uh infotainment screen mine's is a 2022 so it has the iDrive 7 which is the small screen like this and this other one right here which is like uh, uh also another smaller screen but for me i kind of i think i like this screen a little bit more 
but after seeing the iDrive 8 one in person, it grew on me. I'd definitely say that. It's like a, either way, like it's a good move, right? Um, but yeah, carbon, um, excuse me, not carbon, comfort seats on my car, right? Silverstone interior, extended leather, which is also an option. It basically means the leather comes all the way down here. Whatever color this leather is, we'll extend it here. I have the 360 cameras. So if you click this button right here, there's like a front camera and then there's also like a overall like 360 degree angle camera on this car so i wanted to like spin it around and stuff and show you the vehicle i'll do that if i wanted to just have the front camera up it'll also do that got it's got a lot of really good tech guys so yeah definitely take this video as your sign to go ahead and get a bmw m3 or m4 only this car has actually been a really pleasant experience can't can't say enough good things about this platform absolutely fun car to drive and own so if you guys are wondering if you should pull the trigger on it or you're a little bit concerned on if you should purchase this car i'd say with me being six months in into owning this vehicle I would 100% do it honestly this car is a fantastic car and for the money you can't really beat it and that's why these cars have become like really really popular I'd say in the past year or so and everyone wants one you know what I'm saying a lot of people love these cars and these cars are the truth guys for the money you can't beat it definitely I'd say um, get that M3 or M4 and enjoy it 